Hey guys, it's Rosie, welcome back. Today, I'm flying across the country alone. I'm pretty nervous, um, I know it's gonna be fine. I'm only just worried about like, the things that could go wrong. So here's the plan. I am flying to Seattle from Boston, so like, the entire way across the country. And I'm meeting my brother there. He has been there for a couple months. We're just gonna hang out this weekend. We're gonna go to Olympic National Park. We're going to go to Forks. If you guys watch Twilight, you know Forks. I'm leaving in like five minutes. So taking myself to the bus station, then taking a bus into Boston to the airport. So I'm gonna bring you guys along on my travel day. I made it to the bus station. A little traveler girl. Almost didn't find a parking spot. They were all really small and parking lot's almost full, so we love that. I had to park the truck. Just waiting for the bus now. There was like hella traffic because there's um, construction on the way, so I was getting a little worried, but we made it. So I made it to my gate and I'm gonna make myself dinner. I know it's only 3.30, but I'm hungry. I ate at weird times today. I'm just watching planes take off. I don't really have too much to do. I guess I should probably save her having Wi-Fi while I do. to Seattle. I'm tired, but I'm here. He he. We're driving through the city. Oh, now we're going in a tunnel. City. Good morning, guys. I have been up for a while. It's like eight-ish. I've been up since 5.30 because obviously I'm still on Eastern time. I just read a little bit in bed and my brother got up like around seven, I think. So he is at work right now. My job today, before he comes back around noon-ish, is to get all our food ready. I'm gonna pack all my own stuff and then I have some work to do and some editing to do. So hopefully I can get everything I need to do done because we're gonna leave around three-ish, I believe. So I won't be able to do any more after that. But yeah, I guess I will let you guys know what I end up doing. I brought oatmeal for breakfast. I could have brought my food for the whole time. So I'm going to make some oatmeal and probably have something else. I think I have some cookies left over from yesterday. I went to bed pretty late last night. It was like 10.30, so 1.30 Eastern time. So I'm a little, just a little out of it. I am waking up though, so that's good. It is so pretty out here and I just don't know why. Like, look at these trees. Who let them look like that? Like, trees at home, pine trees, are just so, like, generic and ugly. And these pine trees are just, like... We are going to be heading over to Port Angeles. It's, like, a four-hour drive. It's supposed to be two and a half. So I think the traffic here actually beats Boston, which... Kind of unbelievable. I think it's going to be... Quite a long drive though. It is 3 p.m. Let's see how long it takes. Oops, not healthy. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> they are good. Okay, so we just made a pit stop at Walmart. We're almost to. there. Uh, we've been driving for like almost four and a half hours. But we've had some really nice views recently. 
and I'm excited to get to our campsite. We made it to the campground. It's got a very nice view. It's got like a little bit of close neighbors, but let's see. Ooh, ah. So we're gonna set up the tent and have some dinner. Sadly, we couldn't find any fuel for our stove. So gonna be creative with our food. It is so beautiful today. It's misting and it's just gorgeous. We're going over to the Ho Rainforest Visitor Center this morning. I'm gonna have some hot breakfast. I just made some hot water with my little heater thingy and then we will get on the road. So we made it to the gatehouse, except there is like a little less than a 30 minute wait or so for us to get in because the parking lot is full. So that's fun, but we got a nice view here. This place looks so cool, like, look at how massive. So we are leaving the rainforest. This place was really cool. We did the, whatever it's called, the moss loop and then the spruce loop and had a little picnic, got some stuff at the visitor center. Now we are heading out. We're in traffic. I don't know what's wrong. There was construction twice. We lost like eh, 20 minutes to that. But now, we don't know what this is. People are out of their cars and such. It's gonna be a while. So, we have snacks. We're good. But I'm just like, I'm bored. We've done so much sitting in the car today and yesterday and I'm just really, I'm tired. Developments have happened. There is movement. Hopefully, we'll get to go soon. I don't know. 
Yay, we're moving. I'm also not buckled, but I'm gonna fix that in a second. But look, it's so pretty. miss a chapter of our story we are on our way up yep. to see the sunset on some random hill it's a little sketchy but it's really pretty up here so let's hope we make it up there Back at you from the top of the road. This place is so cool. And of course, I brought out the bug net hat because there are some annoying little gnat things. But we're doing this little hike just up to the top of this mountainy thingy. Um, and it looks really cool. The bug net is in its full glory. I was even envied by some of the other visitors. We love being prepared. So the sun has gone down. So we're on our way up to Hurricane Ridge at the moment. We're driving through the fog. It's really pretty. But yeah, last night we saw the sunset up on a different mountain hill thingy. Then when we got back to the camp, Ground. We were looking at the stars because they were really pretty and we actually ended up seeing Starlink. We packed up our tent and everything. Now we're headed up to Hurricane Ridge two hours before the visitor center actually opens. So I don't know if we'll actually get to see it. Sniff, it smells so nice.
So we're in the cloud. We got back down. It was really pretty coming down, seeing like the undercast. That's so cool. So we had a lot of fun this morning. We got up to the visitor center at eight and it didn't open until 10. So we got to like explore around and hang out. I think we're gonna start going back in the Seattle direction so that we can avoid traffic. I can see the cloud coming in the window. That's pretty cool. We took like a what, four and a half hour rest in the hotel room. Now we're going to Salt and Straw, which is like a West Coast thing. It's ice cream. It is so good. I had it at Downtown Disney in June. My mom and I went back four nights in a row to get it because it was so good. And they only have a couple in Florida. That's the only East Coast Salt and Straw. So. I likely will not be able to get it often at all. So out here they have multiple. So we are going to one. They have some of the best ice cream I've ever had. They have this like sea salt caramel. It is just so good. So I'm hoping they have that. If not, I will get to try something new, which I'm sure will be delicious as well. Got the goods. We're sharing a pint of sea salt with caramel ribbons. 